Back to Earth today. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, Fragapalooza was an absolute, uh, it was an absolute riot to be able to go to that again. Um, and it's quite humbling things that have gone on in the background for Fragapalooza. I've been invited to uh, multiple land parties afterwards. Uh, you know, these, the land parties that they do here in Edmonton are, are not your average land party. You, you, when people talk about a land party, your local area network party, they talk about something that's where it's 12, 12, maybe 15 people. No, these ones are like 30 to 40 people. They're, they're actually quite large. So there is the possibility of something like that. A train. We have a train first thing in the morning. There is train tracks near where I am. I don't know if you can hear them. Um, yeah, so the, the land parties that they do are quite large. They're, they're fairly decent. They rent out a hall. Usually you go set up for those th types of things. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make those things. Um, part of it is, is because of uh, the kid, uh, the little one that we do have. Um, he is special needs, but it's not your special, not your average special needs. He's still a very, very developed kid. Uh, can still do a lot of things as a kid. It's just he he has what's called a G-tube. He has a button in his belly. Um, that's how we feed him right now. Um, and the the help around finding someone that can take care of our kid is very limited. We have the grandparents that uh, they help us so immensely with that. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do things like this. And uh, it's... It's very thankful for that. Uh, it's not like we can turn around and find a babysitter for a weekend or or something like that. It, it's it, even getting like five hours. Uh, we're, we're supposed to be able to be able to find respite for that, but we just don't. Uh, and part of it is because it's very limited in up here in Edmonton for that type of thing. I'm I, I'm watching a, a train go by right now. I'm watching a coyote and a rabbit running away from it. So this is this is quite entertaining for me first thing in the morning because that's not something I normally see where I'm at because it's quite populated where I am right now. Um, so so I'm back on track. Yeah. So you know that type of thing. It makes it very very difficult in the long run to be able to uh, raise that child so the last little while with all of you pushing me to do things more i thank you immensely um being able to do fragapalooza is a uh, an absolute treat um and you know when when we all come together as a community here uh we've been able to raise over a thousand dollars for the stollery from the the fragapalooza weekend that's absolutely amazing and i gotta give a huge Huge shout out to Bo Falcon for, for donating uh, as much as he has. Um, and you know what? Everyone else that has uh, donated, uh, it, it's it's very humbling that you all help where you can. Um, even if it's a little bit, uh, you know, a couple dollars goes a long way with that charity. And I'm very grateful that it's there. Uh, if, you, if, no, if you haven't seen the jump scare video, um, you should go watch that. Uh, I, I won't be able to link this via my phone, but search that out on the channel. It's, it's well worth it. There's some good laughs in there. You know, it's a potato cam quality because of this phone. The phone you see right now is decent to record video right now, but it's not good for night. It's not good for dark stuff, uh, which is unfortunate. I've also got issues with this phone. My uh, my charging port is going. It's not a sense of, you know, get a magnetic insert to put in it. The, the port itself, I, I believe, is damaged. Um, it, it doesn't hold the cables in there very well unless they're taped on or or it's very still like I have it right now for for the viewing. Um, I've got a little bit of money set aside right now to get a new phone, but I'm having problems. I'm, I, I found a phone or at least I thought I found a phone. Um, and I, I ordered it up. I changed, I started transferring everything over the phone just to find out it was missing key features that, uh, I kind of need up here in Canada. Uh, and it was missing the play protect. So even new, it wouldn't let me put in like new apps. Uh, it, it was, 
it was one of these phones that uh, was being sold as an international model. It wasn't an international model. It was a Chinese model. Yes, it was still a Motorola, but it wasn't. Uh, it couldn't do the things necessary outside of it being a higher, a better resolution camera, a better uh, hard drive. So I couldn't use the thing. So I ended up having to return that, uh, which is really unfortunate. And now. I'm stuck. I don't know what to what to find for a new phone because the money I had set aside for it was enough for that particular model. And now I'm kind of stuck because I don't want to pay double that for what I wanted to get. Uh, it's, uh, you know, a new phone at this point. It's really unfortunate that I've already got to look at a new phone. Um, the one that I have right now, I, I really do like if it wasn't for the damaged port on it right now, which I don't know how it got damaged. Uh, it, it would be great to be able to continue to use this particular phone. But I also know I need something that's a little bit more at this point if we're going to continue these vlogs. Other things that are going on, uh, next week we go into shutdown mode. Uh, this is this is a grueling time to, to continue to make content. So content might get a little choppy. Um, I'm going to try and continue to do my very best to upload on the regular, mostly from my phone here. Um, but going into the shutdown next week, we, we, I, I'm that way until Canadian Thanksgiving. Uh, it's six days a week, 10 hour days. It's grueling. It sucks. And closer to the end of it, the, it won't just be six days a week. It'll be, I'll be working until it's done. And, uh, you know, this is the type of thing that we do uh, going forward. And once we get through that, and then we go into the winter, we, we start looking into the winter. We start looking into the off months. Uh, we start looking at Christmas and that, those are times where I get to do a lot more with the channel. I get to do, get to stream a lot more. I'll, I'll have obviously time off. I'm also looking at enrolling myself into school for a week long course to, to learn how to patch fiber cable. Um, so I'm thinking of something like that uh, as well. So these are things that are going on around the channel in my real life right now. As for the channel uh, and what I'm doing in my leisure time, Right now, uh, you know, I'm watching people play Beat Saber a lot uh, as of late, and I still sit there and I, I go, you know, I still want one of these things, one of these VR sets, just to be able to play that game because I think it's a very healthy uh, version of a game where I can sit there and get a little bit of exercise. Uh, on that note, in the last little bit, I've lost uh, almost 10 pounds, which is which is good. Uh, you know, I've, I've changed a little bit of what I eat during the day, uh, just trying to restrict a little bit more and trying to stay away from the junk a little bit more, you know, Frag of Blues, there's junk everywhere when you do that. But you, you work it off a lot doing the setup and tear down. So that was very good. I know they were very, very thankful for for what we did, for what I did during that event. Uh, I did set up, I did tear down, um, and we implemented some new stuff. So next year, when that event gets set up, it's literally you grab a bin and a row is done. And it's going to streamline everything for this event going forward. Uh, you know, I also worked two security shifts during that event. And uh, they were very, very thankful that I was able to step up and do things like that. Yes, it took away from doing content. Yes, it took away from doing things like this. But the, just knowing that I was able to help an event, keep it safe, keep everyone's items safe and make sure nothing goes missing um it's very very humbling to know that they were very thankful of that um and i thank every last one of you in this community right now uh because without this community we wouldn't be continuing to do things like this uh we wouldn't i wouldn't be continuing to make videos like this and make uh content on the regular i know everyone is starving for the algorithm everyone's starving for something more and i i i'm here to provide it and if i could at some point find a way to that this could you know do everything possible for my family for for stuff like that i definitely would do this full time but i can't i just can't um i can't afford it there is no way this is why i work the job i do uh, because it, it, it helps pay the bills and those bills are immense 
when it comes to a monthly a monthly bill, it's it's insane how how much things have risen. Uh, a couple years ago, when I came back to work, things were not good because our wage got tanked, and now we're finally back to a stable place for our wage but we will have to wait to see what the future holds because the future is always unknown in this particular line of work um i'm just thankful that every, everyone is around the channel to help out when when push comes to shove going forward with the channel there's uh, a few things on the horizon i know i made a uh, some posts in the discord talking about the um going to vancouver to a convention there if if people are serious about this um wanting to send me to another convention um i've priced it out and to me it's unaffordable uh i don't believe it's something we can afford um i would be going alone uh and just the hotel alone is like a thousand dollars um but ultimately the hotel the the price of admission food cabs everything like that it's come out to about a three thousand dollar mark i don't think this is affordable i would rather put money like that towards something more to have a good convention next year which on that part uh we actually i i, I one of the um organizers or one of the people that uh does the uh the other convention that we went to the the furry con actually commented on one of my videos uh asking for me to return there next year i find this very humbling um it's i went there with an open mind um and my perspective on a lot of things have changed in that sense so it's very humbling to know that i am getting more recognition like that and same thing with fragapalooza uh the two videos that i posted they have taken copies of those and they're also going to be using those for promotional material as well so it's very humbling for me as a content creator knowing that the events that i'm going to is getting that recognition that people uh want to see more and want that in these events anyway i've rambled on long enough i gotta go edit this and I gotta go to work. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'm your product Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. Signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you again very soon.